wa prophecy i pray in america in saturday morning afternoon and night i see shooting i pray in february 13 2021 6 a.m 8 p.m and 5 p.m i see shooting i pray in jesem i'm sleeping i'm taking a nap and about 20 shots just go off North Minneapolis homeowner and landlord Denarius Lewis says he was taking a nap inside his home near 22nd and Bryant Saturday afternoon when he heard the sounds of gunfire. 4:33 p.m. shots just rang off and I hit the floor. I sounded too close. So I checked my camera and I was able to see basically a shootout happening right in front. Video from his cell phone shows the damage to his renter's cars. The next thing you see me do is go outside and check everything out, and their shot, their car got about five shots, um, you know, unfortunately, and then the neighbor house window got their upper level unit also window was shot too. This latest gunfire incident is just one of several, leaving residents and community activists demanding change. Just last night, Minneapolis police responded to reports of a triple shooting in the Standish neighborhood near Roosevelt High School. Three people shot, two were killed, and uh, before that, the last couple of days, we probably had four to five women who have been shot. While Lewis says this latest gunfire has him and his neighbors on edge. To be honest, this is the norm. For me as a homeowner a community now hoping something gets done before more lives are lost and to those that are doing this um we don't want you here we don't want you here we don't want your violence we don't want your murder your killing we don't want it here we are trying in 2021 to rebuild our community in minneapolis charmaine nero carol evan news police say no arrests have been made in the double homicide calling it an active investigation Anyone with info is asked to call Crime Stoppers of Minnesota.